I grew up in Nadebe, a little community six kilometers from here. I grew up here. In St. Lanier. We met in um, 65 and we got married in April of uh, 66. The first one we got married, we were married two years before electricity came here. Oh, we didn't have no fridges or anything then to put things in. We always bought our jam and we always put pear wax on top to keep it from spoiling. You know, that would keep it from going bad on top. And that's how we did the bottling of that then, you know, until the church that came through. Both of us worked on a fish plant. First when we got married, we used to fish, right? Money wasn't very plentiful. You know, we was, was only getting small pay at, at our work. See, back there you lived off the land. That's all we lived off the land. There wasn't, you didn't have any money because you didn't need it. See, so no light bills, no phone bills, no cars. So you, had, you didn't need money. And we had all those stuff, you know, all of those uh, things preserved, right? When you come home from work and that, you know, instead of come home cooking a meal, which is days we didn't have time to do, we open up something, we probably open up a bottle of mousse or thing and put it on the stove and add it up, make some gravy, even boil a few potatoes and carrots and that, and there you had your meal for, for supper. It was really important for the fa you know, for us family, right? Beets and the carrot and stuff like that, right? That often was from our own garden. We used to set potatoes, we'd kill up from the beach and then when the cape on land, we'd put a cape on top. That was the fertilizer we used, eh? We gave a lot of our stuff away to people who didn't have things. We would share our bottling and our veggies. Say if someone came in unexpected and you was after finishing your, your lunch or whatever, we had hours to eat. Well, they came in, you opened up a bottle of caribou or rabbit and, you know, whatever, right? Moose or whatever, whatever they, they desire. We just do it up and quick, quick meal, you know? We're going to start off by making some beets. We got five pounds of beets. First of all, uh, they got to be boiled uh, and we just go by the tenderness. And then when they're done enough, we'll throw them in the sink there and uh, we'll just run some cold water over them. And as soon as the cold water is up, as soon as they're cold to the touch, we'll just take our, with our finger and thumb and just peel the beets like that. Oh, and now sometimes if you don't cook them enough, they won't peel like that. And then I'll cut them up. Some people want some very fancy, but I don't do that. I just cut them up chunks. And after I get some cut up, I'll do the juices, I'll say. Where well, I does mine, I use two, two, and two. I use two vinegar two sugar and two water. That's cups. And I'll add allspice. That's what I put in mine. Just allspice and salt. With the allspice, two spoons, teaspoons, and I'll taste it. If that's not enough, I'll add more. Right on. And then when we get that done, I'll bring it to a boil. And then I'll um, put the beets back in the pot. And I'll just let them come up to a boil, right? And then we'll put them in the bottle and they're sealed. If that's not sealed, you know, that's going to spoil. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Z. Yeah, make sure the bottle is sealed. Yeah, because when you're doing it like that, every, on the, bo on the bottles, when they're put in red hot like that, the bottle goes down, you know, the cover, you know, let it go, down. go down in the middle, right? Yeah. And they'll click and you notice it's down. But if that don't happen, the bottle's not sealed. Might as well take them back. We always leave it right there for a while. We know the lid don't go down. We'll, uh, we want, you know, we'll open it up right away. You know, see, we want, we want, we want to put it back. I don't like bottle beats. I like my home. I like the ones that I do myself. Yeah. I love beats, so. I love them.